Hey guys, Sean from Catch22 Nonprofit. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm talking about what you need to do in order to set up your first ad campaign for your Google grant. So before we dive into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications. I'm dropping new videos every single week on Wednesday. So you want to tune in and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's dive into this video because this one's a real banger. Basically, setting up your first ad campaign, before you even go into your ad manager, you have to know what your goal is with the campaign. Are you looking for awareness? Are you looking for donations? Are you looking to grow for list building? You have to understand and define your goal first for the campaign, and then you can work backwards from there. If your goal is to build to do list building, which I recommend when you're using the Google grant, I recommend starting with list building because doing direct donation campaigns is actually quite hard. It's easier to do on the Microsoft grant, and I'll do a whole video about that after. But when you, it's easier to do a list building campaign because it, one, it's easier for people who are looking for you to opt in for a free offer that you have and get in exchange for their email versus asking for someone who's out there on the internet searching for something to give a donation. So in terms of build, setting up a, a campaign for list building, what you need to do is you have to, have to define what your campaign goals are, understand what your, who your audience is, and then work on building the funnel around the key search terms that people are looking for. I'm gonna send a link to SpyFu. We use SpyFu when we're setting up campaigns so we can see competitors, see what other people are doing, and we can do the keyword research to see what's actually searchable. Some things don't actually have a high search frequency, and this is something to take in consideration when you're starting to run your campaigns because you wanna make sure you have something that has a very high, decent search frequency, high to medium search frequency, so that way you're, not only is your, are your campaigns gonna spend out, and Google likes that, but you're going to see results results. If you, don't, if you don't have something that people are looking for, then it's going to be much harder to create a campaign that's going to have a tremendous search frequency. So I'm going to drop a link to SpyFu in the video uh, so you can take a look and see how you can use that tool for yourself. Now, once you've f figured out what your, what your campaign is, once you define your goals and you know what, what, this, what the keywords are that you're going to be using for Google, you can go ahead and create your landing page. What we like to do for these type of campaigns is we like to build landing pages that are more article based around key search terms that people are looking for. So that way, when, for example, we're running a campaign for an organization that helps children deal with their emotions and overcome their emotions and anxiety. So we created a whole article around chil um, children's anxiety and how to help chil with children's anxiety. And it's spending over $4,000 on the Google grant and it's bringing in traffic. So something like that, you create an article, you can even use ChatGPT. If, you, if you're stuck for writing content, you can use ChatGPT, they do fantastic things. You just have to go ahead and use and, and edit it in Grammarly, um, but ChatGPT is fantastic for this. And then once you have that set up and you have your funnel, now you have to build your offer. What are you offering? What are you giving away in exchange for the email? An ebook is good, a PDF, a download. What are you giving away? What does your organization want to give away in order to get that email? Once you have the offer, then you have to set, then you set up the campaign. You can go into your Google Ads Manager and you can build the campaigns using using the campaign editor. It's very very simple, very easy, and you create your ad campaigns and then you and you link everything together and you hit launch. But you have to make sure you have the right funnel, the right offer, the right follow-up, and the right audience. Otherwise, your campaign is not going to be successful. I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to drop some of the useful information, useful links in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next upload.